welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to Chavy Day. Because on this day, our hero, our icon, returned to the club. He signed his official contract. He was presented there in front of an adoring Camp Now crowd. Chavy is back. And we today are going to look back on the very finest moments from that presentation. Everything he had to say in his press conference there when he spoke about Barca's philosophy, Barca's values and enforcing rules to create order and a bond again within this club. He's one of us. He understands us and he knows what this club demands. And it is for that reason that we are excited and rightly so. About Xavi. Because although it was a Monday in Barcelona, you could feel the excitement in the city. You could feel the expectation growing and just the general positivity that we haven't seen for a long, long time in and around the stadium. Even today on Xavi Day, Pep Guardiola. He was in town. He was right there. You saw him pictured with Juan Laporta and also there at the presentation speaking as well to the media after it all took place. And it did feel like a very special occasion, like a new dawn, like a new era at this club. And before indeed everything did start to get underway, Chavi did speak exclusively to Barca TV where he did come out with some very exciting and firm quotes indeed. He said, I am ready. My DNA has not changed. My idea is that the team is a dominant one, that have possession of the ball, that create chances, that play with real intensity. He said, we know the philosophy of FC Barcelona. He said, we have to restore many things. Xavi said, I know this team, I know the club. He said, we've been through tough periods before when I was a player. He said, I've known adversity too. He said, but I want to help the players, especially mentally. That is going to be the key that many of us believe. He said, we have a clear plan and we're going to follow it point by point before finally Xavi again spoke about that influence, about the experience that he's gained from so many of the top coaches that he's played with and played under. He said, I've worked with the likes of Pep Guardiola with Frank Rijkaard and also Luis Enrique. He said, I'm very lucky because I have this experience now to pass on to the players. And indeed, the entire presentation process was slightly delayed. We were waiting quite a long time to finally get a glimpse of Xavi back out onto the Camp Nou field, where, of course, he spent so much of his life. But finally, he emerged. The excitement was raining down on us, and it was an absolutely unbelievable welcome there. Each of the spectators had a flag. There was so much noise, atmosphere. Xavi himself was looking up at the stands, and you could feel the pure emotion and it was emotional honestly I think Xavi felt like crying I think we all felt like crying because it did feel as though our hero the icon of this club is returning home he is back with us again and I think in that moment it all started to become very very real the porter alongside him too he was absolutely loving all of these celebrations and Xavi took the mic he said I want to say one thing we're the best club in the world and we are going to work to deliver many titles here you cannot draw you cannot lose we strive to win every game and as Xavi there signed his contract alongside Laporta out there on the field we saw it before our very eyes Xavi signing on the dotted line until 2024 before photos were then taken alongside Xavi's family Laporta involved as well in those photos and then of course the chants started ringing out from the crowd chanting Xavi's name and of course we heard the chants that we often hear on match day and that's what it felt like today it felt as though even better than what we've seen in recent match days there was an atmosphere there was an energy within the crowd today that we haven't seen at the camp now for a long long time and look who was feeding off that both Juan Laporta Chavi both with their microphones they joined in with the chance they responded there to the crowd and it felt like a real party atmosphere it was special it was genuine excitement it was having hope again as fans that we haven't felt for such a long time our hero, our maestro, is back. 
And of course, from the pitch, we then went straight to the media room, where indeed a press conference followed. And I do have to say, this was one of the most in-depth press conferences that I've ever seen in my life. I do often watch, of course, the Barca press conferences. I've seen many, many coaches over the past years. But Xavi really did sat down every single question there coming in from the journalist. He took it on. He thought about it. He gave a very measured and very detailed response and his first words. He said, I'm very emotional for the way that the crowd have received me today. What the fact have shown me. He said, I want to thank the president for his confidence. He said, Matteo and Rafa as well, who were in Doha. And he said, tomorrow morning, we start work and I'm so excited. Juan Laporta, of course, also spoke throughout the press conference. He said, we've never seen before this, this kind of atmosphere in the presentation for a coach. He said to react with this level of joy, this level of excitement, it's down to Chavi. It's down to him, the reference that he is for this club. He said it's a great day for all Barca fans and a day that will mark history at this club. And when Chavi was asked there about the emotion of walking out onto the Camp Nou field again, he said, I thought about all the memories that I have here as a player. And it's because of those fans, because of that support that we have to win. He said we must do it for them, we must show them effort, we must show them sacrifice, good football, and we have to give everything for them. Xavi said, I have very clear ideas, something I've been working on throughout my time with Al Sad as well. He said we have to explain Barca's philosophy to the players. He said some of them already know it, but we have to convince them. We have to convince them of our ideas. We want to create a team here. He said they taught me here that when you draw, when you lose, he said it again there, he said it's a funeral. He said you cannot do that here. He said when you don't win, there are consequences. And that's why we have to. Of course, there is absolutely no surprise at all that many of the questions here contain Pep Guardiola, contain comparisons between himself and between Xavi. Xavi said there, if they compare me with Pep, he said, personally, I see it as a huge compliment. He said he didn't read too much into the pressure, the expectation of that. He said, no, it's nice. He said he's always been a reference for me throughout my whole career. And as a coach, he said he is the best in the world. And when Xavi was asked, will you be strict with the players? Will you know be very, very hard on them? He said, it's not about being hard or being strict. He said, you just got to follow rules. He said, we will have rules and you follow them. He said, right now, we're not getting good results. He said, and when I've been in a dressing room that has rules, you tend to do better. Things go better for you. He said, when there are no rules, things go badly. He said, we need order. And I think that is one of the key, key points here that as the press conference goes on, Xavi goes into this in much more detail too, but he wants to bring some order here. I think the players for far too long now have almost been going off on their own, being left to their own resources, not really being kept in check. We need somebody there to come in, command that dressing room. Xavi's status will allow him to do that. He is a legend on the pitch, off the pitch too. The players will respond to him. And judging by these words... They'll have to. Chaffee said, my idea is to help the players. He said, there's a lot of pressure at Barca. He said, I know that more than anybody. He said, you know, there's a lot of expectation here to win and win in the right way. And he said, I feel that some players looking from the outside, they're feeling that pressure. Psychologically, it's very important. He said, we've got to work with them as a group and individually to manage that situation. And there was no surprise as well that also in the press conference, the name of Lionel Messi came up there. Xavi was asked about whether it's a shame for him that he doesn't get to work with Messi. Would he like to have him here as a player? And Xavi responded. He said, Leo, Eto, Ronaldinho, laughing. He said, but all of these, they're not here. He said, Messi actually texted me. Good luck. He said, he's a really good friend of mine. And he said, I wish him all the very best too. But he said, he's not here. And we have other players who must now make the difference. We can't really be thinking about players who aren't here. Speaking though about a player then who is here, Xavi was asked about his intentions regarding Ousmane Dembele there. Do you plan to renew him? Would you like to see him renewed at the club? And Xavi, he didn't hide anything. He said yes. He said I would like to see Dembele renewed because he said a Dembele that's well prepared he could be the best player in the world in his position. He said he has the qualities to make a difference at Barca and to become a world star. He said we have to demand a lot from him. And that's again, Xavi speaking very, very highly of Dembele. Again, speaking though about the fact that we have to get that out of him. We have to demand more from him. We have to prepare him in the right way. And it was quite funny that after that remark from Xavi, quite openly saying there, you know what, I want to keep Dembele. Laporta was laughing in the background. He said, okay, 
I understand what needs to be done. And along with Dembele too, Xavi was asked about the other French players, the likes of Clement Longley and Titi. Do they have any part in his plans? What has he seen from those players in their time at the club? But Xavi said, well, I haven't worked with them before, so I don't really know them yet. I don't know everything about them. He said, all the players at Barca, they're going to start from scratch. They're going to start from zero there. We're going to have to see them all. But he said, right now, I can't comment exactly on how Titi or Longley are just from the outside. He said, I want to see them for myself. And it does seem very much so like every player will get their chance. It will be about here coming in, impressing Xavi. There's no favouritism or any obstacles. It's all about their proving your worth to the new coach now. And Xavi said regarding the older players at the club, players that he's worked with before, players that he knows very, very well as friends. And he said before, it's been written many times that I didn't want to train players that I played with. He said, that's not true at all. He said, as I've said recently, it's no problem for me. I feel like it's an advantage to know Chet Stegen, PK, Busquets, Alba, Roberto. He said, I know where I can press them. He said, I know the weak points that they may have. And actually there, Xavi, he said, I'm a positive person and I can use that to my advantage. And Xavi did openly explain that in the past, Barca had approached him twice before. He said the first time there was back in January 2020. He said, I felt at that time that I wasn't ready. He said, at that time, I had to be honest with myself and say, you know what? I'm not ready to take on the challenge that is Barca just yet. And he said, then after that, when I was offered the challenge, he said, the elections were going on. It wasn't really the right time for me either. But he said, no. Now, I know it's the right time. I know that I'm ready. And that's the really good thing there that Xavi in the past has said, no, I'm not ready yet. There's things I still need to do. There's still things that I need to learn. But now he's accepted that challenge. Now he is here. And he said, I've got a great relationship with Juan Laporta. He's been the best president in the history of this club. And I'm glad that we could make it happen. Laporta, though, he said we have full trust and confidence in Xavi. He said he's perfectly capable of managing this club and we believe in him. He said, look, it's not going to be easy. We shouldn't expect Xavi to come in here. It's a team that's under construction. It's going to be a tough challenge. But he said Xavi really convinced me when he told me that I can get the best out of this team, which, of course is what we need. But the final question that Xavi was indeed asked, I feel was a very, very good one there. Because Xavi was told that throughout this press conference, obviously he's spoken a lot about the philosophy, a lot about the style, but more importantly than anything else, he's spoken about that work, about those rules. And certainly during Pep's time at the club, that was also one of the fundamental keys there to being such a successful team that yes, you have the style, yes, you have the philosophy out there on the field, but more importantly than anything else, You've got to work. You have to have that hunger to really put in the hard hours. And Xavi here really did go into detail. He said, yeah, that's exactly the point. That is what I'm trying to say here. He said, from the first moment that we arrive, we're going to put rules in this team. We are going to enforce some serious rules. That is the first thing that we will do. And only then can we start talking about values. We can start talking about respect, about attitude, about effort. And he said, this is vital because if we don't have values at this club, if we don't stay true to our values, you don't have a team. A team simply does not exist. And he said only then, once we've done the work, once we've done the rules, done the values, he said then we can talk about the model of our game, how we're going to play, how to defend, how to attack. But he said, in my opinion, the very first thing, it's about rules and it's about order. And I do think that right here we have somebody who knows this club, he understands this club, he has experience in the best of times, he also has experience in some of the worst of times as well. He has come through adversity, he's battled in his career to reach the very, very top, and now he's here as a coach. Things won't change. He said it himself there that he hasn't lost that sense of Barca DNA. He hasn't lost the kind of work ethic and the kind of attitude that really did take him to the top and the team around him. He will attempt now to bring this to Barca, to bring rules, to bring order to bring structure at this club where for so so long it's been neglected we can talk about the style of play we can talk about scoring goals and keeping them out but at the very first moment and the very foundation that all that's going to be built on we spoke about it yesterday you improve the training you improve the preparation and you get the work started there on the training ground and making your players believe in what you can bring tomorrow on tuesday chavi will begin his barca coaching career with a training session there at 11 a.m. local time. There is going to be so much coming up and plenty more talk on what Xavi can do, what he will look to bring, and of course, like I say, the way that we're going to play under his leadership. Today is a day to be excited, to be hopeful, to look forward to what the future can bring. Of course, we know that we're going to have to have a big element of patience, that we are going to have to work through these troubling times but now, 
Back in our corner, back on our side, we have somebody who's going to fight and give everything he can to instill what he knows into this group of players. Chevy is back, but really, he never left. So please, guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on Chaffee Day, the day where Chaffee has been presented now as the new Barca coach and the exciting part, the new journey, the new era. It can begin. The work can start now. So let me know all of those thoughts on Chaffee and what you are hoping that he can bring to this historic, famous club. I will see you soon with plenty more to come. Enjoy this feeling, and until next time, as always, Vishka, El Bussa.